centimeters to that's seven. This has been the boys that has led the Yukon women's soccer team for the last 37 years. That is Len Santiris. But his retirement opened the doors for a homegrown product. And the search for a new head coach began and ended with Margaret Rodriguez. She is now only the third coach in program's history. UConn is where she was meant to be. This is where I want to be. It feels right. For some reason, this is where I was destined to be. Rodriguez was a talented player who graduated in 1998. Well, at UConn, she scored 43 goals, had 42 assists, and was part of the team who went to the 1997 NCAA final against North Carolina. She also spent 10 years as the assistant coach for the program, but she never thought she would get to be the head coach. I laugh to myself, you know, I, I look back to my teammates and say, would you ever say one day that I was going to be the next head coach at UConn? And we all laughed, we thought Lenny was going to be here too, he was 100 years old. <laughs> He's very much on that track. Although Santiris wasn't here for quite 100 years, the coach spent 37 years as the head coach of the program, and even when some thought his retirement was coming soon, when he announced it, it caused some players by surprise. Oh, 37 years is a long time, so we were like, he's got, he's got to be like retiring soon, and it's like such a long time. But then when he actually like came in and told us, we were all in like shock. It was just like very weird, like, <laughs> I don't know. Yukon has a proud history, and Rodriguez was chosen to continue the legacy that Santiris helped build, and she expects to do that the Yukon way. But what is the Yukon way? Blue-collar workers. Working as hard as you can every time you're on the field. You want to be relentless and just go at them for 90 minutes. Rodriguez understands this and knows how to motivate players to get the best out of them. She was, she did a really good job of letting you know like what you needed to fix or what you needed to work on, like to do better, but also letting you know it in a way that like kind of gave you more confidence to do it. There will probably be little changes and I think that a lot of us are going to be held uh, a lot more accountable than what we may have been in the past, which I think we're excited about. Um, I think that there's going to be some higher standards that we're going to be held to, but overall I think it's going to be a good transition. As with any other student athlete at UConn, is more than just the ability to perform on the field that matters for the new coach. Coming into the collegiate game, yes, we want to win, we want to do well, but there's a bigger picture here. You know, we're trying to graduate players, we're trying to make them good citizens, good role models. And there's no better way to teach players how to be well-rounded people than lead it by example. As a woman, this is particularly important as there are not that many women in coaching positions. It's an old stigma that to say that, you know, being a head coach or as you get older and wanting a family to balance being a head coach and a mom at the same time is hard and you know they question your ability can you invest in your your time recruiting and developing a team all the while being a mother and you can with everything she has learned rodriguez is confident in her team's ability to be a top program again and compete on the big stage we're very dominant in our early years and we're, we're trying to get back to that. We're trying to be dominant, but to be uh, in the Northeast, you know, the, the, the money and the, the Power Five conferences, it's, it's hard to compete against, but can UConn do it? Yes, we've done it in the past. We've established ourselves in that. We've done it more, most recently. 